Okay guys, today what I wanted to go over was how to get your model ready for layout. In another video I go over how to actually get your file into layout, but now I wanted to go through the setup. So I have this house right here um, and I want to focus on a few things. First, scenes. Um, so uh, just look at your model and say, okay, like what do I want to show in my plan? And the more plans you draw, the more you're going to know what you actually need to go in here. So go into the scenes tool and just start creating scenes. Uh, so my first scene I usually do is an ISO. All right, and my next scene, typically you're going to want a floor plan. So I just like to create them and name them so that I know, okay, I need to go through and, and fill these scenes out. And let's do um, a front elevation. And as you can see, as I'm creating them, they're popping up right here, ISO floor plan. Uh, uh, and all that stuff, um, and, th and this makes it really easy to navigate. Um, so let's do a side elevation, and then let's just do one more. It's going to be super basic, and let's just do a section cut. Um, and so that's all I'm going to do. And so as you can see, when I click through them, they're all the same right now, and, and you're right, that's correct. Um, but I'll show you guys how to how to kind of change things. So my first one, what I want for this ISO, I want, I want my to be a little bit closer. Um, and now I'm just going to hit update scene. And so as you'll notice, it's changing everything um, from the camera location, visible layers, um, active section planes. Uh, all this stuff is changing um, every time I, I save it and change it. So let's do the floor plan. So now um, we're going to jump to... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to floor plans. Let's do the front elevation. So uh, for my front elevation, what I want is I, I want a certain view. And so I want that to be my front view. Um, so Command-3 or whatever your front is. I don't actually know what mine is. Command-3, 4, 5. Okay, so mine's 5. Um, <clears throat> and so as you can see there, I'm, I'm just trying to get the front of this. Um, so I align to that view using the standard views. But what I want to change is you don't want to be in perspective. You want to be in parallel projection. Notice how that that is actually going to look good on your plan. So zoom in and then go to front elevation right here <clears throat> and update scene. And so now it's going to update. Um, and, and notice the difference here. This is where I was and bam, this is where I am now. So um, staying in uh, this view of uh, parallel projection um, let's go ahead and actually spin. So I want to get my side elevation here. Let's get the one with the window. Um, and so here I can, so yeah, now I'm aligned. Just command four. So now I'm aligned to, to this side right here. And now I want to update this scene. Update. So as you can tell, even these little uh, images are changing here. And that's exactly what you want to see eventually. So now when I switch to the front elevation, Boom, side elevation, and then back to the ISO. Um, <clears throat> all right, so now let's go over section cuts real quick. So use the section plane tool. Um, to, we're going to create two things, create our floor plan and then create our section cut. So let's do the floor plan first. So I typically call this one floor plan and then the symbol FP. Most of the time, I don't have these shown on my plan, but you might want to um, show them on your plan, and that's fine. So um, I, I can just use the keypad button, the arrows here, to change which plane I want. This is the up and down, and this is the side to side. Um, so I'm just going to, this is the one I want, click there, and you can also change the height too. And so I want to catch my window and my door. Um, so that's good for me. And then I can click right here and go align view. And this is going to snap um, exactly where I want it. So <clears throat> two things uh, with creating this one. You want to go back into parallel. Um, and then notice if I were to save this right here. Um, let's go here. Let's update my scene. Update. Uh, I typically just say update. Um, <clears throat> is that so here it is notice it will show this active cut right here and typically I don't want that um, and so what you can do is <clears throat> go edit go view and turn section plane off so the section plane will still be there you just won't be able to see it 
So that's that's more of what I want. Now notice if I switch between the scenes and go back, that's still there. So now I go view, section plane, update the scene, update, <clears throat> update scene. And now it's not going to be there. Boom. So that's exactly what we wanted. That'll look really good on your plan. So now the next one here, section tool again. So this one I usually do call section one. I give the symbol as S1. And now let's place this one. So this one I'm going to want front like this. And then I'm going to move it into my house. And I'm going to catch this window right there. <clears throat> and now, typically what I do is go align view. And notice what's wrong with this. We are in perspective, let's go to parallel, and now let's view, hide the section planes, bingo. So as you can see, this will give us a really good cut of <clears throat> our foundation, and then we come in, we can detail our windows and, and detail all this stuff. So this is a really great section. This is super important for any of your projects. Uh, and update the scene, update, bingo. So now let's just scan through, okay, ISO, floor plan, front elevation, side elevation, and section cut. Um, <clears throat> so that's that's pretty much all that I do. One other note is with the layers. Um, so if you wanted to, for example, <clears throat> show maybe this section cut without, without the roof or without this wall here or something was just kind of in your way, what you can do is um, either hide the layer, so put this on a layer call it roof and then come right here and <clears throat> turn the roof off. So now the roof's off. Now you want to go and update this scene. And so as you can tell, uh, where is it? Visible layers. It's only going to show you the visible layers. If I wanted to toggle that off, for example, I could just click here and then it should show me everything. So update. And now when I select through here, the roof is on or here, the roof is on. Now I'm going to come to this ISO roof's going to be off. So um, that's the basics, guys. We first have the scenes, then we use the sections, and then you can use the layers to really show exactly what's on your plan. So now we're ready to go and actually get this file into layout. So you can watch my other video um, to find out how to do that. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get updated on all our newest videos. Also, go ahead and click the links below so you can uh, see our social media profiles as well as our website.